he wished on the dragon scale, and that's what started dragon tales. Around the room the dragons flew, but Emmy and Max knew what to do. They climbed on the backs of the dragon friends, now the adventures never playing with their toys. <laughs> Hola, Max, Emmy. Perhaps now would be a good time for Kiki and Finn to hear a story they would enjoy. I love Jack and the Beanstalk. I especially mm. love the part when Jack's magic beans grow into a giant beanstalk and he climbs up and then there's the giant and there are so many beans to eat. Oh, 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 oh. I could tell them the story. <laughs> I think you just did. I'll tell them a story, Goldilocks. I know they like that one a lot. Me too. Kiki, Finn, do you want to hear about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Be sure to start with Once Upon a Time. That's how lots of stories start. Okay. Well, once upon a time, there was a little girl with blonde pigtails called Goldilocks. She was lost in the woods and very hungry when she saw a cute little house. Didn't you two tell me you once went inside Ketzel's pop-up book? Uh-huh. We all took turns making up our own story. Loved it! It was so much fun! What if we take Kiki and Finn into the pop-up book to visit the Three Bears' cottage? Great idea, Lorca. Let's ask Ketzel. Ask me what? May we take Kiki and Finn with us into the pop-up book? So we can actually meet Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Hmm. I don't see why not. Now remember, Nimius, all you have to do is say, I imagine. And whatever you say will appear. Who wants to say it first? I think it should be Cassie. Okay, I imagine we're in Katzel's pop-up book. Have fun, Nimius. I'll be watching. Wow, cool, huh? But where's the Three Bears' house? And Goldilocks! We have to imagine them, like Ketzel said. I'll do it. I imagine we're inside the house of the Three Bears. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look! The bears have three different sizes of everything. There's the three chairs. And the three bowls. And there's Goldilocks. Hello, I'm Wheezy, and this is Zack, and that's Ord, Lorca, Max, Cassie, Kiki, Finn, and this is Emmy. Hi. What's the matter, Goldilocks? Uh, I bumped into the dining room table and spilled all the porridge. <laughs> all three bowls? Yes, I cleaned up the mess. But now there's no porridge left to eat. What am I going to do? Who says we have to tell the story of Goldilocks the same old way? We're in Ketzel's book, remember? We can tell it our own way. Then we can imagine more porridge. Porridge? Why not something even yummier, like pizza? Oh, I love pizza. I imagine a giant mushroom pizza. I mean, three. I imagine... A large for Papa Bear, a medium for Mama Bear, <laughs> and a small for Baby Bear. Wait a minute. What if they like pineapple pizza like me? Extra cheese? 
Whole wheat crust. Yeah. Vegetarian. Deep dish. Spinach. Sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, okay, stop. There's certainly enough for the three bears. Look at all the pizza. It all looks so delicious. Here, try some of Papa Bear's. <laughs> this one's too hot. Try a piece of Mama Bear's. This one's too cold. Try Baby Bear's. Yum! This one's just right. Anyone else want some? Ugh, mm. I'm full. Me too. I think I'm gonna burst. What should we do with all these extra pizzas? We could imagine them gone away. That would be a waste. We could give the rest to the other story characters who like pizza. Like who? Like the little old lady who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Good idea. I bet all those kids can eat a lot of pizza. That sounds wonderful. Oh, my. More children? We just came to give you these pizzas. Thank you. The children love pizza. They can have a party. Oh, I haven't had a chance to plan one. Oh, you know me. I'm so busy. I don't know what to do. Gee, Goldilocks, maybe you can babysit for her. I'd love to. <laughs> I think it's time for Kiki and Finn to visit another story. Which one? Oh, I know. I imagine Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack? Yes? Do I know you? No, but we know you. I'm Ord, and these are my friends. And, hey, where's your beanstalk? Well, there isn't one. Didn't you trade the cow for some magic beans? Yes, but the beans fell out of a hole in my pocket. And I don't know where they are. Oh, now Kiki and Finn can't climb the beanstalk to meet the giant. And Jack can't show Kiki and Finn the goose that lays the golden eggs. And I will have nothing to take home to my mother to buy food. What are we going to do? Where can we find golden eggs for Jack's mother? How about King Midas? Who? Remember the story Mom and Dad told us? Everything he touched turned to gold. King Midas! Good one, Zacky! I imagine King Midas! I don't see any gold. Wheezy, you forgot to imagine it. Oh, right! I imagine all of the things King Midas turned to gold. Him, <clears throat> Hear ye, hear ye! I'm making a proclamation here. If anyone can make me happy, I will reward that person with gold. With all this gold, how come you're not happy? Look at me, I can't eat. I can't hug my daughter. I, I touch something. And poof, it turns to gold. You ever try to blow your nose into a gold tissue? Not comfy. Careful. Don't let the king touch you. If we help you, will you help Jack? Jack? Jack who? Me, your majesty. My mother has no money for food. Well, of course. I'll even make it a proclamation. Hear ye, hear ye. I proclaim that if Jack and his friends could stop me from turning everything into gold, I will be able to help Jack. What are you thinking, Lorca? Hmm. I imagine... King Midas has a green thumb instead of the golden touch. Hey! A green thumb? It comes from an expression. If someone is good with plants, you say they have a green thumb. <laughs> this is genius! <laughs> now will you give Jack some gold? No. But you promised! I'm giving Jack something better than gold. Here, plant this corn, and, and poof, it'll grow like a weed. You'll never go hungry again. And the corn you don't eat, you, you can sell for gold. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Lorca. Finally, I can eat. Hmm, what should I have for my first meal? How about pizza? Pizza? Oh, is it tasty? It's the tastiest. And if you have pizza, Your Majesty, well, you just have to have a party! I love it! I proclaim that whenever people gather for fun and pizza, it shall be known as a pizza party. I'll stop preparing at once. No need, Your Majesty. I imagine a party here with all our new friends. I imagine party decorations and lots more pizza. Oh, my, my, what is this? King Midas, meet the little old lady who lives in the shoe and Goldilocks. Well, any friends of yours are friends of mine. <laughs> Let's party! I 
think it's time we took Kiki and Finn back for their nap. I imagine the school in the sky. We met Goldilocks. And Jack, and King Midas, and the little old lady, and, and... I know. I'm proud of the way all of you used your imaginations to create new stories. And I bet Kiki and Finn like your stories so much, they'll want to hear them again, and again, and again. I wish, I wish to use this ride to go back home until next time. What story character am I? Humpty Dumpty? No, London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. <laughs> oh, Max. Look, Emmy, I'm a mountain climber. And I'm a baseball player. She swings. Home run! <laughs> The mountain climber is also the center fielder, and he's playing way up high, <laughs> way up on top of the mountain high. Then he makes the catch. Well, you don't see that play every day. Don't be disappointed. It was still a pretty good hit. Max, the dragons are calling us. I wish, I wish with all my heart to the fly with dragons in the land of art. Hi guys, what's happening? Cassie, what are you wearing? It's my Dragon Scouts uniform. Dragon Scouts? What's Dragon Scouts? It's a club for dragon girls, where we make friends, learn new things, and have fun. Oh. That's why I asked you to come to Dragonland. I want Emmy to come with me to my Dragon Scouts meeting. <laughs> me? But I'm not a member. You can be my guest. Today we're helping an older dragon lady fix up her garden. And you can meet all my Dragon Scout friends. So, you want to come? Definitely. Then we better hurry. We're already late. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Have fun! Wanna play in my backyard? Okay. Thank you for helping me today, children. I can't do all the things I used to do around the cave. Oh, just look at my poor garden. Don't worry, ma'am. The Dragon Scouts are on the job. We help and have fun and never stop until we're done! <laughs> Excuse me, girls. That's my telephone. Everybody, this is Emmy. She's my best friend, and she's visiting with us today. Hi, Emmy. Nice to meet you. Hello. Cassie, dear, it's your mother on the line. <laughs> um, uh, I really like your Dragon Scout parades. Thanks. Yours is nice, too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong, but I have to go home for a little while. My mom needs my help babysitting, but I'll be back soon. Oh, Cassie, don't you want me to come, too? That's okay, Emmy. You'll have more fun here. And I think the Dragon Scouts can really use your help. Well... Okay, but I'm not sure I want to stay here without you. Don't worry. My Dragon Scout friends are so nice. You'll see. Hey! How about we play Airplane Pilot? Aye, aye, Captain Max. Let's fly to London, Ord. London coming up. <laughs> um, Captain Max, where exactly is London? I have no idea. 
Maybe it's that way. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hello. Hi, Lord. Emmy, what's wrong? You don't look like you're having much fun. I'm not. Where's Cassie? Her mom needed her at home. Why aren't you over there with the Dragon Scouts? Well, I want to be friends with them, but I'm not sure how to do it. I mean, I'm glad to help out the Dragon Lady, but it would be more fun if I could do it with the other girls. I wish Cassie were here. She'd rake with me. Maybe if you're really nice to the Dragon Scouts, they'll ask you to work with them. Oh, I like that idea. Try it, Emmy. Well, okay. You guys are the best rakers. Hi, Emmy. Thanks. You too. You sure have a lot of leaves there. I know. Well, we better put these bags in the trash. See, Emmy, they said hello. But they didn't invite me to rake with them. And look, now they're done. I'd invite you, Emmy. Thanks, Zord. Don't worry, I'll bet they'll ask you to join them on the next project. Good luck. Bye, Emmy. Oh, God. Oh, oh my ache and a trunk. Don't worry, Mr. Twinkleberry Tree. The Dragon Scouts are on the job. Uh, thanks, girls. I feel better already. Uh, but you missed the spot. Oh, thank you, dear. I thought no one would even notice me. <sighs> I know how you feel. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe if I work closer to the other girls, they'll notice me. Sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, if I can think of a cool way to get the berries down, maybe they'll invite me to be part of the group. Cool. Watch. Oh, that's wonderful, Emmy. Just wonderful. Look at Emmy. Oh. Wow. Wow, Emmy. You're fast. Really? You think so? I can be faster if you want. See? <gasps> I'm... I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Emmy. It was an accident, and it was funny. <laughs> Just be more careful next time, please. Great! Now we have to pick up all these berries off the ground. I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> I still think it was funny. <laughs> Poor flowers. It hasn't rained in a week. You must be thirsty, huh? Don't worry, the Dragon Scouts are on the job. Uh-oh. <sighs> Here, let me try. See? The bucket just needs to be held with both hands. I just need to turn it off. Whoa! Maybe I can turn the faucet while you hold the bucket. Then you can tell me when it's just right and not too heavy. What do you think? Hmm, that just might work. Let's try it. That's enough. Hey, good idea, Emmy. Thanks. Next. You're done already? The garden looks beautiful. Thanks to our new friend, Emmy. We couldn't have done the job without her. Emmy, that sash looks beautiful on you. Thank you. We're awfully glad Cassie brought you today. 
Me too. Hey, can you come to next week's meeting? Definitely. Yay! <laughs> Girls, what a super job. And to thank you for working so hard today, I baked dragonberry muffins. Yay! <laughs> Did someone say muffins? Would you like one too, dear? I've never seen or eat just one muffin. I did. Once. Well, I ate one muffin at a time. Mm. <laughs> These muffins, muffins are delicious. delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you so much. I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. That was hard work. I'm exhausted. Now what are you pretending to be? I'm done pretending. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> and you wished on the dragon's tail, and that's what started Dragon Tales. They climbed on the backs of the dragon friends, now the adventures never Dragon Tales is funded in part by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through funds from the U.S. Department of Education. To learn more about Dragon Tales, visit PBS Kids at pbskids.org.